The last two pieces of the Champions League quarter-final puzzle filled in by Chelsea and Real Madrid. Got Robbie Musto and Yanis Malik here with me in the studio. Also joined by ex-Chelsea legend Frank LeBeouf. Let's start with you, Frank, and let's start with Chelsea. What a night at Stamford Bridge, almost rolling back the years uh, with the old guard. Yeah, I'm delighted, you know, and uh, you know why I love football and why everybody <laughs> loves football? Because you can see things like that, you know. Uh, you have the people we, uh, everybody said, you know, the dead, uh, but the dead came back from the beyond and they won it. <laughs> and they showed that uh, football is fantastic. Thank you very much, the Blues. <laughs> Spooky stuff indeed from uh, Mr. LeBeuf. Uh, Robbie, what did you make of uh, Chelsea's display? Listen, it was, it was a victory for good old-fashioned energy, for players that maybe some people had wrote off. I think uh, there was balls into the box, Napoli couldn't defend the, that situation, they struggled with the, the kind of the huff and puff that you get in the Premier League, Chelsea didn't play scintillating great creative football but they put pressure on Napoli and I think we all knew that Napoli were great on a counter attack but weren't that strong at the back mm. and uh, I for one didn't think they were going to do it I thought Napoli would come counter attack and score which they did but only once but hey hats off to Chelsea, it was a great performance. So Chelsea through and so to Real Madrid chasing that elusive 10th Champions League or European Cup trophy, not too many troubles against CSK Moscow. Uh, not really. You know, take away the, the early Dumbia chance. Uh, I think they were really clinical, didn't have to expend too much energy. There's a swagger aura about Real Madrid now in La Liga and Champions League. And I think in the end, it was very, very easy for them. The right people scored. Ronaldo, two goals, of course, Higuain, Benzema. Those are the uh, type of players that you want to keep confident. And that's exactly what happened. Looking impressive, aren't they? But it's all going to be about the draw. Remember the Champions League quarter-final draw coming up on Friday.